My name is Chris Smith, I'm Head of Membership Services at FESPA and I'm delighted to be a part of this event today uh, and I'm so glad to see so many people coming from uh, the four Scandinavian uh, uh, associations. But I think innovation needs leadership. You know, this is funny, right? like, when I show this around the world, I've got this guy, these great leaders, aren't they? Yeah? I tried to find a great Swedish leader. Who is this guy? Gustavus Adolphus, did someone say? So we organized a really small tour to Base Camp 4 at Mount Everest with a 360 degree globe cam. We took more than 5,000 photos. We combined 1,000 of those 5,000 photos into what we believe is still the largest Photoshop document in the world. We printed the image in 72 pieces on our 12 meter printer in Berlin and we installed it as a panorama. And when we were standing on the center of the platform, you could see Mount Everest from Base Camp 4 in the right perspective in scale 1 to 1. We also do a lot of public for fashion. To the left here, it's printed for the Swedish designer Anders Bergen, who was at that time at Beckman's College of Design in Stockholm. What I'm going to do is talk to you today, as it says, about trends in kind of wide format and display, and in particular, I'm going to talk about packaging because I think this is potentially the biggest uncovered opportunity that is coming up that will affect everybody and everybody who is in the print industry, certainly in wide format and digital, has an enormous opportunity in front of them. Right now, paper manufacturing is the third biggest user of fossil fuel. So to make paper, standard paper, we use 30% of fossil fuel. It takes 75,000 trees to print one Sunday edition of a big New York paper. Interesting facts, I think in 1970 oil accounted for 75% of Sweden's energy. It was 75% in 1970 of oil. And that by 2009 was reduced to 32%. So your dependence on oil reduced by over 90%. Who's interested in, as a business owner, they were getting customers, getting sales, getting revenue in the door, and making money. Most interested in that as a top. That's good, we're in the right audience, and we have the right person in front of you. That's what we're going to be talking about as business owners, that's what we're interested in. And when we speak about brand English, we speak about the impression in our customer's mind of a brand's total personality. And we want, of course, to make sure that when our customers visit our premises, or exhibitions, anywhere in the world, they should always feel welcome, they should always immediately recognize the specific model of trucks look inside each of the very, very low end digital really kind of pushing out um, and pushing the screen back into to a niche um, and increasingly also encroaching on the territory um, of offset. In the last five years, technology has been like HP and others, they are at least working on new technology. They're making new inks that are better for us. They're working on recycling systems that make your product recyclable and better for the environment. Right, not bad. Is that a good enough circle? It's quite easy. Right, okay, that was good. 
Now, a bit more sophisticated. I think we'll have a rectangle as the shape of this. So that's like a square, but sort of a long square rectangle. That's it. Okay, not bad. Oh, that was very good, wasn't it? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah? 